Ghana are set for a massive match against Central African Republic in the last match of qualifications for the Africa Cup of Nations, and this is a huge opportunity for the Black Stars, as if they take home 3 points, the victory over a very decent Central Africa side, it will see them top the table in Group E in qualifications over a very good Angola and Central African Republic side. So this would be a huge boost to this Ghanaian national team and the Black Stars heading into the Africa Cup of Nations. But we're here to break down the match today, guys, talking about the lineup I'd like to see for Ghana, how I'd like to see the Black Stars approach this game against Central African Republic, and what might happen for Ghana against Central African Republic, and of course, my predicted scoreline for the match. But also, guys, before we jump into it, make sure to let me know your comments down below, how you guys think the match will go, what you guys think of my predicted lineup, and what you guys' score predictions are for the game. But we're going to dive straight into it. And this is very interesting. This is a very good Ghanaian side. Of course, missing a lot of key players in Kamaldeen Suleimana, Thomas Party, Mohamed Salisu, and so many more players. But this side is still extremely talented and it is one of the underrated sides within Africa, in my opinion. And I love the players on this Black Star side and I think they can go far. But how do I think they'll fare against Central African Republic? I really hope Ghana can learn how to put the ball in the back of the net. Because if you look at Ghana's past couple of games, in their last four matches, they have only scored two goals. And those two goals have come against both in Angola, where they managed a 1-0 win and a 1-1 draw. Also managing a 0-0 result against Madagascar and also a 2-0 loss to Niger. So this is very interesting. This is a very talented Ghanaian side going forward. But they lack the goal scoring and critical ability at the front end of the pitch. And that is why this match against Central African Republic, I want to see this Ghanaian side scoring goals. And this is where they should be clinical. This is a very good Ghanaian side. Yes, you're missing Kamaldeen Suleiman and you're missing some of your best players. But up front at the top end of the pitch, you have some electric, quick, fun, talented dribbling players who are very young and if you get these players expressing their ability on the pitch this side will be hard to stop you look at the pace the dribbling the power and the ability from these players you look at Mohamed Kudis, Bakari, Painsil, Ayus, uh, Numansa, Alexis Semenyo, Williams and there's so much talent here at the front end of the pitch there's no reason this Ghanaian side should be lacking goals. Two goals in their last four games is inexcusable. You shouldn't be having that problem. But also, if you look at it on the other side of things, they have also only allowed three goals in four games, and two of those goals coming against Niger. So if you break it down, there's only one goal in their last three games, which have all been in qualifying against Angola. Only allowing one goal in their last three games against arguably their top opponent, their toughest opponent in the group so far in Angola, is incredible. You look at that back line right now, some incredible defenders, Alexander Jiku, Aidu, uh, Siedu, the likes of also Gideon Mensa and Abdul uh, Rahman Baba. This is a very talented back line. And you're also going to be missing the likes of Dennis Adoy, Mohamed Salisu, some incredible defenders this window as well. But looking at the options you have there for Ghana right now, I don't see how this side is going to lack goal or is going to concede abundance of goals. It's a very talented and strong back line. And also going forward, there's no excuses to be lacking goals. Chris Hutton has to be getting goals out of this front line. You look at it right now. Antoine Semenyo being brilliant for Bournemouth in the Premier League on the right hand side. Scoring against Liverpool, playing at a top quality pace throughout his start so far for Bournemouth. As well, you have a forward and a striker in Anake Williams who can play anywhere across that front line, but is a very good and lethal number nine on his day. As well as you look at other those, some of those other attackers you can throw into the mix with Williams and Semenyo. You have Koningsdorfer, you have the likes of Andre Ayu, and more so Jordan Ayu. You also have the likes of Bukhari, of Nuama, 
Also, Mohamed Kudis, you can throw in there on the attacking third of the pitch as well. This is an unbelievable Ghanaian side at the front end of the pitch, and there's no excuses for this Ghanaian side to be lacking goals. Yes, only scoring the likes of two goals in four games is inexcusable, and Chris Hewton has to get this Black Stars side scoring goals and scoring for fun. That is why I'm going to go out and make my score prediction right now, guys, before I give out my predicted lineup. I think Gone is going to win this game 2-0. Yes, the Central African Republic side is a decent side. I do understand that. And they have a chance still to qualify for the Africa Cup of Nations, but they would have to beat Ghana. And I don't think they do that. This backline of Ghana is extremely strong. They're going to pull out for a clean sheet. They've only allowed one goal in their last three, having a clean sheet against Madagascar in their last game and against Angola two games ago. This backline is extremely talented, and I don't think they concede. And I also think Chris Hutton will finally get this Ghanaian side, this Black Star side, scoring more than one goal this game. So I got Ghana winning and the Black Stars winning this match 2-0 over the Central African Republic side. And this is a huge match for Ghana. Like I say, three points, a win here, brings them that top spot in Group E, advancing them into the African Cup of Nations on a high, on a huge boost of morale, confidence. It is a huge move for this young Ghanaian side, and especially manager Chris Hutton. So if they can win this game, if they can keep a shutout, if they can score more than two, more than a goal, it would be a massive confidence booster to this Black Star side, and I think this will be a 2-0 game. But moving on to my predicted lineup, guys. Ghana has to go with a full lineup, with their best players, with their best side. And currently, with their squad right now, without the legs of Kamaldeen Suleimana, without the likes of Thomas Party, without the legs of Mohamed Salisu, and of course, Dennis Adoy, and even more players, this is my preferred 11, and my favored 11 for the likes of Ghana, the Black Stars. Looking at this team, I think it almost chooses itself, but I do have a couple outside shouts as well as here. Goalkeeper... You, you can't really argue this one. It is obviously Lawrence Atezigi. This is a clear shot. The St. Galan man is a brilliant goalkeeper, 26 years of age. I really like him between the sticks, and that is by far who is our goal, Ghanaian goalkeeper for this uh, set of fixtures, in my opinion. I don't think you can sway either way. Looking at the back four. We all know Chris Hutton loves that 4-2-3-1, that 4-3-3 setup. And for me, I would go with the 4-2-3-1 for Ghana. It suits this side the best. It gets the best players in their best roles. And that is why I go with a 4-2-3-1. My two center backs would be Alexander Jiku, the Fenerbahce man, and the ex Strasbourg center back. And of course, Joseph Adu. This for me is a staple. You can't go away from these two. They're rocks. They're solid solid center backs they're veterans of the game 27 and 29 years old very good center backs still in their prime playing for Celta Vigo and Fenabache. very good center backs and they're gonna hold out for a clean sheet I know you guys might be shouting at me what about Aladu Siedu and for me Aladu is going to be playing right back. Siedu is going to be playing right back due to no Dennis Adoy, due to have knowing no recognized right back in the squad. Siedu is able to play right back. He's played there for Clermont Foot at times. And the young 23-year-old, I'd love to see him at center back at times. But you play the two of Aidu and Jiku together and you let Siedu go out wide at right back with no recognized right back currently on the squad. But at left back, people can question the likes of uh, Baba Rahman on the squad. But for me, he's been fantastic in Greece, but he doesn't get the nod over Gideon Mensa. I love what Gideon Mensa can bring you at left back and he makes such a solid back four for me. With Gideon Mensa, Siedu, Joseph Aidu, and the likes of Alexander Jiku. But moving on to the midfield two behind that number 10. The midfield two I have, of course, as Abdul Samid, the 23-year-old defensive midfielder from RC Lens, who I think is fantastic defensive midfielder, who is going to be truly breaking out this season with Lons, and especially after their big man left to Al Nasser in Sekou Fofana. But also looking at the other defensive midfielding role, 
this would be a lock for the Thomas party, and this would be an obvious one. But currently, with no Thomas party, it's a very interesting one. You could go with Alicia Awusu. You could go with um, uh, Edmund Adu. But for me, I go with Idrisu Babu, Baba. Because Baba is still playing at a top level with Yudi Almeida. And you look at this midfield, who I have at the number 10 is quite obvious. He's a 23-year-old. You're going to have a 23-year-old also in Samid. You need a bit more experience. And that's why I didn't go with Edmund Adu. Because I think you need a bit more experience. You can't have three 23-year-old midfielders in there in such an important game for Ghana. So that is why I leaned for a bit more experience with Edrisu Baba from UD Almira. So making up my midfield is going to be Adrisu Baba and Samid holding the midfield with the number 10 being Mohamed Kudis. That's a staple, that's a no-brainer, and we're not going to dwell on it. Mohamed Kudis at the 10, Baba and Samid at the holding sixes with a back four of Aidu, Jiku, Siadu, and Mensa. Looking up front though, your front three. On the right, on the left, is a bit more of a questionable one. Anyone could go with a bit more of a left field shot on the left. And for me, the no Kamaldin Suleimana, I went with the likes of Ernest Nuama. Nuama is a brilliant 19-year-old winger with Olympic Lyonnais who has been fantastic. I really like what he can bring to his side, his electric pace, his dribbling ability. He is such a fun player to watch with more of a chance in the first team or getting a chance with Ghana here. I think he could really show what he's got. And that's my outside shout for this predicted 11. But on the right and up top, it is such an obvious shout. I know that Jordan Ayu or Andre Ayu might still get a chance in this lineup, which I don't think they should. Because on the right, it has to be Antoine Semenyo. There's no questions about it. The young 23-year-old at FC, AFC Bournemouth has been fantastic in the Premier League so far. The league I watched the most. And he has been brilliant. A Bournemouth side who is probably my second team who I choose and cheer for and support in the Premier League. He's been utterly fantastic and I love what he brings to a game. So Semenyo on the right with of course Inake Williams up top. Guys, I love previewing this match. It's a very exciting one tomorrow. It could make or break the African Cup of Nations. It could knock out Ghana if Angola win and if Central African Republic win as well. Ghana could crash out, but a win or a draw sees Ghana move on to the Africa Cup of Nations. Let me know what you guys think down below about my preview. Drop your squad, your predicted lineups as well as your predicted scores, and let me know what you guys think down below. Hit that sub button, drop a like, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.